Some time ago, I started something that I didn't want to get into. I merely touched upon my disdain for the cosmopolitan martini. Which isn't really a martini at all, but rather a cocktail that's simply served in a glass that goes by that name. Which is one of the many things that bothers me about this particular fruity concoction. By the same rationale, I can drink all the vodka I want from a coffee cup and claim that it is not vodka at all, but rather a delicious cup of coffee. Let's just forget for a moment that the only reason the drink is in any way popular is because of an incredibly successful TV show. I mean, people are easily led morons, and to an extent, I just have to accept this and let it go. And let's also forget that it's a rip-off mutation of the sidecar, a classic cocktail that does exactly what it's intended to do. Let's just look at why the fuck people continue to order them. One reason, as banal as it may seem, is that the drink is pink. I can't begin to tell you how many times I've cringed upon hearing some screechy blonde tart exclaim how pink her drink is. You ordered the drink, you know it's going to be pink, so why are you suddenly so exhilarated to discover that the drink before you is pink? One might be equally as ecstatic to order a sandwich and then moments later receive two slices of bread with something in between it. Oh, it's a sandwich! Or maybe you're just excited because it goes with your shoes, or your bag, or your chihuahua's bonnet, or your mum's curtains or something. I mean, sorry to dwell on this one point for too long, but really I'm flabbergasted by anyone who gets excited by a colour. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's red, it's red like my t-shirt! <laughs> The other possible reason people order Cosmos is perhaps because they taste like juice. And there are some people out there who don't like the taste of alcohol. I know, it's ridiculous. See, what I do if I don't like the taste of something is I tend not to put that thing in my mouth. For example, I don't like the taste of dog shit. So I tend not to eat dog shit even in small quantities when masked by other flavours. But that's just me. But I want to get drunk, I just don't want to taste the alcohol! You can't fucking do that! That's like saying you want to lose weight, but you want to do it by sitting on your ass eating pork chops and ice cream all day. You want to get drunk? Well then you will damn well taste the alcohol, young lady. At least while you're under my roof.